So here's an example of a problem I'm trying to solve. This is the VoxLab V uh, 300XL kit. And similar to the Indirect Cinder V2, we provide this plastic support bracket. You may be tempted to leave this off, but it would be a problem because what I'm experiencing is, here's another example where I left it off. Now, depending on which one of my guys assembled the printer, or in, in your case, if you, um, these screws right here, if they're, the center bar can twist if these are loose. So when you're assembling it, it's really crucial that the, this y-axis is parallel to these feet. Otherwise your bed will be canceled over, tilted a little bit. And what that causes is this. So you can see I had a, uh, I was a little bit close, but pretty good first layer here. It's still a little close. And then the back of it just gets atrocious. Now, of course, you could say level your bed, but what was happening prior to rebuilding this is that this axis would actually rock. It would, as the bed comes forward, even though I leveled the bed, it comes forward, it would rock because what I found out is the screws on the side there aren't any right now. Uh, this whole thing was not tightened down. So even if you do get it tightened down, it's really hard to get it parallel. So what I've been doing on these, they're all this all similar, is refactoring the the frame. These are all Vox Labs, but this one's a V2, which is the same same thing, but look at this. This is a fresh build. Still might be having some kind of weird issue here, but I redid the bottom frame like my other kits, like the Pro and Non-Pro. The reason why I originally designed it like this is because I wanted to keep the general aesthetics of the V2 kit the same. Well, when you're upsizing the printer, it's really not a good idea. So I mounted the power supply here. Of course, if you have dual Z, that's a different problem. Um, this actually makes the top frame nice and rigid. So that acts as a support. And then I put two of these 2020s, which I'll have in my store as a separate add-on if you want to do this mod. And um, I'll also include a longer power supply cable um, and possibly a, for the 300 kits this is borderline too short. It still reaches but I don't like it. So I'm going to make a little add-on uh, kit. I'll try to make it as inexpensive as possible. Um, two bars. Um, LCD cable will be optional because you might already have the long one and then the long um, power supply cable with ferrules and fork terminals on the ends with a little bit of additional hardware to do this so it'll solve this nasty problem that I've been having and many of your others it makes a really rock solid frame base so that is coming soon. And uh, this is Ender Extender. This is my workshop. This is all the ones I've modded so far. This one's also printing gloriously well. This one was having the same problem as this one. So you can see what a difference it makes. All right. Have fun.